Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Queen Esther of Queen She Me, and I have some time before I'm going to work, so I am fixing to sit down here and chat with you guys about cosmetology school. Yes, so I officially ended semester two as of today, and it's kind of bittersweet to be honest with you guys because I really did enjoy term two versus term one. Now, if you guys aren't aware what cosmetology school is, it's hair school pretty much, beautician school, you know, and I went back to school last August of 2018 because I had an aha moment in early April 2018 and it was actually around my natural hair anniversary last year and I had an aha moment and I knew I needed Needed to go back to school for getting my cosmetology license simply because I wanted to be able to perform services for women who are African American or have Afro textured hair or a curly hair texture or anything like that but primarily I just really wanted to give back to women and my love is still number one natural hair of course but I really wanted to come back to school to get certified simply so that well you know naturally no one would question my credibility and to for myself to just really be sure that that everything that I have been sharing with you guys and have been learning is actually correct and that it actually you know isn't misinformation so I am so happy about that by the grace of God and I have always been like a research bug you know so like I'll research okay so I had to pause so that was my mailman and I'm so happy y'all because that was my Camille Rose Naturals package that had came and my mailman if he sees us at home he always makes sure he knocks on that door and rings the doorbell so I knew it had to be him I was like they keep ringing this doorbell <laughs> like because people don't just show up at our home so yeah so I can't wait to do that review with you guys so yeah back to cosmetology school so yes I went back so that way simply I am able to continue to educate you guys and also to actually get out there in the workforce as being a natural hair cosmetologist natural hair stylist and I love actually styling on people I love actually working on people and actually being behind the chair but I truly do not see myself fully being committed to being behind the chair all the time so that has been one of the things that I have had to learn about cosmetology school is that yes you may have initially had planned certain things you know to actually pursue or your plans may actually have to change some because you just didn't know that certain parameters are in place to where it's not to necessarily hold you back but it is there to make sure that you know you do get the actual proper hands-on training that you do need to still be a true professional out here in the cosmetology cosmetology industry so um yes i'm appreciative about that and so i've just been trying to figure out a different route for me as far as like getting hands-on training without having to always be behind the chair because i love talking to people and i am now getting to a place where i'm comfortable with actually being out in public doing public speaking and actually working events for myself and actually for my business queen shimmy boutique so it has actually started to open up another avenue for me and that is something that i am enjoying and that it is too that I'm learning things along the way as to how to actually you know navigate and to stay within my niche and to still stay true to what it is that I want to do which is one educate and share my natural hair journey and to two be able to actually work with clients and other women too locally who actually would like to have their hair you know styled who are natural and actually want to learn about the hair at the same time so I am doing something a little different I feel but I do find a, fo a few ladies that actually do follow on social media actually do the same exact thing and a lot of hairstylists actually wind up coming out from behind the chair and actually start going into teaching because they actually start to enjoy that part of it too you know it's about giving back and helping people to grow and to develop their own skills and talents as well and for them to be able to express their creative side all while giving back and that's what it's all about every job or career that we all actually have right now in this present moment in some way does contribute back to society so whether it be banking or if you're a truck driver or a taxi cab man or you know again a hairstylist or whatever it is that you are doing some way you're contributing back to society and my passion has come to actually being in contact with women and people in general and actually being able to make them feel good about themselves and discovering themselves too in a healthy and positive way 
and for me I was able to do that simply by you know starting to recognize and love what it was that was within me and what I was seeing in the mirror every day and then two actually understanding how it is that I can actually help my inner self my body my internal self to actually be optimal and to make it to where I can continue to flourish externally as well so just like I tell you guys, healthy hair over length is everything to me. And so when it comes to healthy hair, it's about your mental health. How, What kind of thoughts are you having? Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you feeling in between? Are you questioning yourself? Are you having harmful thoughts? Are they, you know, joyous ones? Or are they ones to where they just seem like they're just coming from anywhere? So you have to take into account your health overall and how it does help you to see the person that it is that you are. And I feel that through cosmetology, I'm able to do that with hands-on work with again styling women's hair helping them to understand and love what it is that's growing from out of their own scalp and then two also teaching people different ways and how you can actually you know learn from your journey and your past life in a sense and how you can actually become better each and every day so I have gone through things you know and I share them with people you know being laid off you know being rejected you know getting the good job you know having the friend going out partying you know all those different situations have led me to where I am right now and it's the conscious choices and decisions that we make is how we actually begin to create and manifest our life so for me when people started actually requesting that you know what I started actually doing hair services on them that's why I decided to go back to cosmetology school yeah y'all so the second semester we actually had a black instructor I love her so much you guys she is so dope she's so down to earth and she has been teaching now I think for about six to eight years and she actually does enjoy doing that but she actually does still have her own full clientele so when she gets done teaching us for the day she goes home an hour away and actually does go and style her clients and be working y'all to like 10 11 o'clock at night and she gets up and comes and teaches us the next day and I respect that I love her grind I love like her work ethic and everything like that and I love her teaching style is what I love most it's how she is very attentive to everyone and she answers everyone's questions honestly and she helps us all to see that it's not different because it's easy to get like that divide in class you know like the black white thing or whatever but she helps us to see that it's still all the same no matter what you know and I'm all about that too because you know I'm not again white people or anything like that and I think sometimes in class it may come across this way and I'm just being just very honest you guys because this is life and um yeah but I'm not that type of person it's just that when you are made when you are when you when people make you feel that what you naturally have is like an issue or like it's complicated or they don't want to be bothered with it you know and they're actually being taught too with a second instructor on how to do all that you know it can become offensive and then too sometimes it can become like it can get tiring and you become exhausting because it just always seems like well damn like what's the issue it's just like you can't like socialize or associate with me in class or whatever being cordial and then when it actually comes time to learning about our hair and things like that and when you too just like us get clients who are natural and then you don't want to learn it then it's just like well what the fuck like what well we having to come in and learn everything about you every single day whether we want to or not we're giving you a perm we're giving you a color touch up full version it doesn't matter you're getting whatever it is that you are wanting we are working on you 24 9 so when it comes time to working on someone else you should at least have some respect even if you don't want to just simply do it and to just learn about it just like how we're having to do the same thing we're just still having to come in and respect you all even if some days we may not want to we still do and we still get to you know proceed and get the credit so either way it, you know, it just gets tiring. It gets exhausting, you guys. And that was what I was learning this semester was that, too, when we started going on salon hops, you know, it was still that, too. Like, 
don't get me wrong the salon hops were dope i really did enjoy going to the salon hops because you were actually able to learn how businesses are actually run you know and it's still and it's funny because with me coming out of a corporate place and then now going to in a sense of beauty industry you guys um you still get to see how those same systems and practices still are the exact same they just use them a little differently to navigate certain things and i like that and so i'm able to still transition some of my previous experience you know things i still do to this day even with my own business now into like my own hair business you know and everything like that for myself and so the salon hops are good for that you know because you get to see how they work how they book how they operate and different kind of clientele that they have as well and plus you get to fill out these different places so that way if you want to so you know become a part of their business you know and become an employee then you can you know leave a resume with them so that's really dope and I was really excited about the salon hops and I actually did get one um, you know response back and everything and I shared it with you guys on Instagram but then too you have to remember why it is that you came into what it is that you're wanting to do because it's easy to see everything else being laid out there and then you your why starts to get you know kind of mullied out you start kind of letting it get filtered and it's just like wait a minute you know I see everything else I love what all you're presenting and everything but what is my why? What is my passion? And my passion is y'all, you guys. My passion is doing us, our hair, our Afro textured hair, and giving you guys the tools and the power to know and to actually just take care of your own hair because I know it is a lot of women out there who just cannot afford to go to a salon and just pay all that high-end money to get those type of services, you know. And I'm one of those young ladies, you know, like I don't go to any salon and get my hair done. I have not been into an actual salon besides the one I've been in at my school in years I have literally been the only one taking care of my hair and it's only been because I've educated myself and I have learned to understand my hair and how it works and the products that work for it and how to my lifestyle impacts that and so once I started to break that down for myself I started to see that it was just like you can do this like you don't have to always just feel like you have to spend all this money to feel beautiful you can you can do that for yourself so yeah so that's what made me excited and so that's why i came back to natural hair school so some days it's tough because i feel like you know i'm not able to learn or get hands-on training on what it is that i'm wanting to do and everything like that and so now i've been learning since then the salon hops is to reach out more to just different salons you know because some of them you do want to reach out to but then you know you have to be very discernful so it's just been this semester has just been very eye-opening as to what the industry can really be because see, in the first semester you're really more behind the book and just in the salon just kind of working on your mannequin and stuff but then the second go around for your second semester just where I'm, my school is you know you really get more hands-on with your clients you're doing clients three times a week you know and then sometimes if you have your own people outside of school who want to come in you can do that and schedule them on other days sometimes and then you're able to do things like that and so that's the thing that I have been working on myself is being able to get more hands-on time with people who do have curly hair so whether you're afro textured or Latina or whatever if you got curly hair I just want to to get more hands on with that and it's just not necessarily for me about cutting hair and I know a lot of people get their hair cut to style which is not a problem but let's be real a lot of naturalists either wear their hair in a tapered cut or in some kind of shape fro and that's really the most drastic thing that I have seen when it comes to natural hair besides coloring and that is it so I still love the fact that natural hair is still not like super complicated when you do decide to add different things into it, like haircuts styles and as well as chemicals because you guys know my hair is colored now and yeah so that is what it is y'all like that's just really what it is and i know i haven't really shared an update with you guys but that's how it has been in cosmetology school like yeah like we work on a lot of you know white clientele and there's nothing wrong with that but i still feel like it could be a lot better just simply because of the way that the students and the college are set up you know like they could get a lot more going on campus like really they really could because a lot of people who have come into the program that i've seen and even those who are not black who want to learn different things 
they don't feel like they can necessarily get it because we don't get a lot of hands-on or we don't go to different things to where we're able to actually do that like other workshops and classes so there's been different things that we've observed and we have expressed you know as a class you know and actually you know it's just it is what it is but for me personally you know I have to remember that you know my fight is different, you know, and I can't fight all the good fights, you know, and everything. But my fight is really just for women who are wanting to really just love themselves wholeheartedly and who want to feel good about themselves and feel like they make themselves feel beautiful without having to have someone else externally do that for them. So I feel like that's my line of work. That's my lane you know my niche and you know and now i'm actually starting to be able to create that and bring this to you guys you know in a better format and it's just taking a little time but i'm just so grateful to you guys and being understanding and actually being so supportive as supportive as you have been of queen she me and so yeah y'all so i'm looking forward to turn three turn three starts in a week and i'm excited because your girl is up on her hours yes and i intentionally did that not just so i can have a whole lot of hours but simply so that way i can get more hands on time when i could get it in you know so shoot if i can get it in early in the morning about an hour or on lunch it didn't matter your girl was at school you hear me now okay yes so this go around for third semester i really just want to be focused on my clients i really want to be able to start building my clientele i want to be able to put things in actual physical format so that we can start to connect and interact and so that way i'm able to give back to you guys and so that way you guys can give back to me as well because it's all an exchange and i love what i do i love sharing my experiences and how they have helped me grow and too about my natural hair journey and how it has helped me to see me for who i am and the woman that i am still growing growing and becoming to this day and y'all we evolve each and every single day and i feel like as long as we make a conscious decision to do that for ourselves then that's when we begin to flourish you guys yes you get to see the queen who is she within me and that's what it's all about so i love you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me today i know this was kind of like an update rant i'm sorry but it is what it is. I just had to get it out there to you guys. So, turn three. Let's go. Oh, yeah. And your girl passed with a 98. I'm so happy. Glory be to God. All right, you guys. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure you are a part of Notification Gang as well. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys. <laughs>